I thought they all go to heaven with 72 virgins. Well, they'll be sorely disappointed. I hate to tell you what some of those virgins might look like. Well, so... You know? Why do you think they were virgins in the first place? You ever think of that? Well... Come on, Felix. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, that's better. No, nah, it's a serious matter, Mark, and... Uh... Hey, listen. By the same token, I know you're talking about a country that doesn't think twice. What? I don't... A call has a caller has dropped out. I wonder what happened. Oh, he'll be back. But the bottom line is, you're talking you're talking about countries terrorists that use nine and ten year olds as suicide bombers. Okay, the kids are being trained from elementary school. That sacrificing their lives for the cause is okay. Those children are the same. Are not being, they're not being allowed to be children. Those are the same uh, plus thirty-five year olds you're talking about in Iran. Over there, they're okay. No. They're being. They know what's going on. Come on. No, those are the terrorists. Those are not the same thirty-five year olds and up. Excuse me. What do you think they're teaching them in Iran? And who do you? Where do you think they're drawing these children from? They're drawing them from the population of the people, okay, who are hard-nosed terrorists. No, I'm just, okay, we've Chad got... Chad is back. And we've got another call. Elisa, is that you? Hello, you're on the air. Well, yeah. don't be so downtrodden, Elisa. I know you had a bad week, but come on, you're talking to Felix and Mark now. And Chad. And Chad, you know. All right. And, and, and don't worry, Elisa. You know, Mark and Felix, they can tell jokes just like any other old person. <laughs> it's just been a very long and draining day today. And it's <laughs> a long week. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I mean, nobody else has died, have they? No. <laughs> yeah, there was. There was another one, but it was Oh, you're, I, I thought you were making a joke. Sorry. What is that? Six? No, um, in the, this whole summer has been nothing but... Death after death after death. Mm. All my friends just died. Really? And oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Elisa. How did they die? Is it uh, through uh, natural means three, or did? Well, one one had three heart attacks. Oh my goodness. Three are, three well, other people died from cancer. One I mean, I, person was murdered. Oh God. Mm. Murdered. Um, that you didn't tell us about. Yeah, and t I. I I buried a very good friend today. So, but she she suffered and she was battling her whole life with a blood disorder. Mm. And, what, what kind um, of disorder? Blood. Oh. And um, she's been back and forth in the hospital. Um. The past 180 days has been nothing but uh, being in the hospital, then coming home, and then going back into the hospital. And this last round, she just, she couldn't do it anymore. She gave and, up. And uh, her body just gave, actually her heart just gave out this time around. Oh, it's unfortunate. But do you so know what we learned is. from this lesson, Mark? What? Don't well, be don't be you, friends with Elisa. No, sorry, bad joke. Bad. No, what you learn really is the fact that uh, when you talk about death, I mean, the, the rest of the problems that we discuss are uh, fairly trivial. It, and it strikes everybody in, in old ages because I think these are all young people, right? Yeah, she was 39. And well, the rest of your friends were all on, were around the same age, right? Um, the the guy that had three heart attacks was forty seven. Um, one of the people that had cancer was fifty, and the other two were forty seven. Well, well, I think one was one was no, yeah, they were both forty seven. I apologize. Um. For 
What? I was going to say, I apologize for what I'm about to say. I certainly don't mean to make light of anything, but uh, it's, you know, when you think of what I go through with Felix here every two days a week, it's amazing I haven't had a heart attack on the radio already, you know, trying to do a show with him, you know. Huh? And what's but, your uh, problem? Yeah. No, but seriously, I mean, you know, I, I mean, Ellen will tell you, I, uh, you know, I, I try to, uh, you know, I add comic relief. I feel that uh, the arguing that Felix and I do adds comic relief to otherwise serious questions that we try to raise and discuss, you know. He's right. entitled to his opinion, I'm entitled to mine, you're entitled to yours. Chad has no opinion, so unfortunately he doesn't register. Okay, I got a question you. for uh, two guys. hear that, Chad? I got a question for two speakers. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. I, okay, my my two uh, guests who called in. Alisa, do you believe? Do you think we should be signing the Iran agreement? I don't know. I. I think my, my honest opinion is we we should just. And I told I told you this once before when I was a, when I was a teenager in high school. I said. Blow up the whole Middle East. Get rid of them all. First of all, I think you shouldn't even be asking her because in view of what she's been going through over the the, the, the summer, you know, that's mean, that's, you know... It's not important, but it's not, first thing is taking her... Right? Well, but she, may, but she may not be giving it any thought, really, when you think about... You know, it reminds me of, you know, back in the early 80s when my brother-in-law, you know, every week, he was getting phone calls from friends all over the world because he was a world traveler. He used to he used to book tours for American Airlines, okay, about friends who died from AIDS, you know, during the height of the AIDS epidemic. He said he went to more funerals, you know. I mean, after a while, you become hardened, but, you know, you. it's just that you have had such terrible news all summer long you know, that to even discuss something like this would be, it would be trivial because you're dealing with life and death situations. Now, granted, I know what Felix would say. I know what a lot of people would think, you know, if, if this agreement goes south or whatever, the whole world could be blown up. Well, if that's the case, then we wouldn't be around and it won't make a difference now. How about you, Chad? What's your opinion? Um, well, there's actually a lot to say about this particular topic. Um, you see, Mark, uh, well, I don't know exactly what Felix's view is on this. It sounds like you're more understanding of what Netanyahu is saying. Uh, I'm opposed I would say to the agreement, 150%. You're under whose agreement? I oppose the agreement 150%. I don't think you what, can negotiate. What, what agreement? We're talking about the uh, agreement you know, the with Iran. The nuclear agreement with Iran. This, that's what we were talking about. The Iran. Okay. Right. Well, here, here's, um, here's what you got. Um, and this kind of goes along, actually surprising, about a lot of what we've been talking about, you guys. Um, the problem is the lack of understanding of what Islam is and what its purpose is and what it's perpetrating is really, really, that's what it, all of this comes down to. And um, they're waiting. They're, you got to understand where these people are coming from. They have an eschatology. They have an end times uh, pro prophecy. Israel is part of that prophecy. America is part of that prophecy. They believe that America and Israel are Satan. Okay, that right there, Mark, should throw up some red flags. And it's very interesting you're trying to be understanding and supportive of all faiths. You know, who knows, maybe they're the ones with the real faith. But the reason I know that that's not true is because you, we have, they have some serious anger issues and serious hate issues for just people that are not Islamic. But... There's another part of this thing that makes it even more interesting. Not only do they have a hate for people that are not 
Islamic, but they also have a Mahdi coming into the world who is going to be a savior who's going to demolish this whole planet, including all Jews and all Americans, all Christians. Um, this Mahdi is going well, to be ignited should... by and perpetrated by the people of Islam. That's why they're moving in certain areas. Well, That's I'm... why they're interested in Syria. That's why they're interested in a lot of the Middle East. They are raising up an army for the Mahdi. Well, what now, what, wait, 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 wait. I think you should explain to all listeners, the Mahdi is the Antichrist. Their version well, of the Antichrist. Well, Mark, I don't know why you would think that. I have reason to believe that. Why would he be the Antichrist? And if he is, if you do believe he's the Antichrist, why would you not be in support of, of not striking with any deals of anybody who supports such a thing? Now think about it. If, if, if places like Iran, okay, that are filtering and brainwashing the people, their Muslim people, into thinking that Israel and America are Satan, why on this entire planet that God made, would you ever assume that it would be okay to let them have what they want? I say we're in a very dangerous time. We are in a, in a time where they want to blow Israel off the face of the planet. So, Mark, do you understand, at least not in Yahoo's position, he's not oh, just going understand. in and telling America what to do. Hold on, let me say this. He's not just going in telling America what to do. He's saying this also regarding his own people. He realizes that if Iran makes bombs, that they are probably going to annihilate them. Now, I don't believe that. But I have reason not to believe that because I believe in an end times myself. And I, it's not part of the plan. It's not part of God's plan. However, your opinions <laughs> are striking, talking to Felix. I would imagine that somebody like you, Mark, who is a Jew, would want to say, wait a minute, I'm a Jew. If they found out that I was a Jew, they probably would hate me too. Do you not see that, or do you not have a problem I'm with not, it? I'm not saying no. It's just that I feel that if the world is to survive, okay, that trust and concessions have to be made. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I trust the mullahs? Of course I don't trust the mullahs. Who I trust is I trust the 60% of the Iranians who are 35 years of age and younger, okay, who want to be very much westernized and become part of the world, but are not being allowed to. You keep coming up with these 35 and under. This is a figment of your imagination. No, it's these not people, a figment of these my people are trained from childhood to hate Americans, to hate Israel, to yes, hate everybody. The terrorists are. The kids in Iran, they go to school, and that's what they get educated. They don't get to watch TV. Yeah, Mark, Mark, hold on, Felix, don't get so hot. Listen, Mark, do you, do you realize this is, a, this is not just an, a personal opinion? This is part of the religious belief. Now, it kind of goes along with well, what I've been you, arguing well, with yeah, you guys when, about when you, debating with you. But then, when you listen to the imams talking... Holy men. Uh -huh. I'm not talking about the mullahs. I'm talking about the actual so Mark, imams. you don't know what's bully and not bully. They have an agenda. It, this is not based on bully, not bully. This is based on their religious no. beliefs. They're really waiting for a Mahdi. This is, this is beyond. Uh, that, that's a deception. Uh, they are in very much support. Oh, my. That's not good. They are very much in support of taking out Israel. And number one, they want the Mahdi to sit in the, to uh, rule over Israel, I, I, I would just caution you, you know, this is not, how do you know the difference between when somebody's a bully and not a bully? How do you know they're just not trying to be nice for, I don't know, perhaps maybe for deception well, reasons. Maybe, tell, they're, maybe they're really nasty, you know, behind well, the scenes, but I'll in tell you, I'll the tell public, you. they're trying to be all these nice, peaceful people, and really, they're, it's not based on that. I will tell you that Netanyahu will not hesitate to bomb the crap mm -hmm. out of Iran and Syria and ISIS oh, and he everybody will. else if it means... It's actually prophesied. If it, if it means the 
the, the, that Israel will continue to exist and not be blown off the face of the earth. Okay? And mm -hmm. I understand that, and I'm in favor of that. But what I'm saying is, before it should...